Hello everybody and welcome to my um, let's play of a Pokemon Nuzlocke. Actually it's kind of a funny thing how I came to the idea of making one and it was more or less related to a video I found on YouTube. And big shout out to the creator of the video. Uh, I'm being charged by showing you a few scenes of the... Um, of the video I found from Jaden Animation. And well, after that, we go r straight into the run itself. So stay tuned and see you in a bit. Within the Pokemon community, there's a set of self imposed rules you can add to the games to make them more challenging, called a Pokemon Nuzlocke. You can only catch the first Pokemon you run into per route. If a Pokemon faints, it dies and you can't use it anymore. And you have to nickname your Pokemon to get more attached to them. That means if you aren't careful, you can technically lose a Pokemon game under those conditions. I've wanted to do a Nuzlocke for the longest time. Here's your dog. Let's battle. I want to show you how strong I am. She was already starting to stack up those dragon dances, which make her moves even more powerful. All reins are thick, can tank a lot of hits, and can do a lot of damage. I would know, because I have one. Well, the rest of the animation I let you discover yourself, but I have to say, amazing animation and watch the videos yourself. And it's an amazing journey um, Jaden had there with her Pokemon. And yes, of course, there were some really heavy losses in her journey. And actually, it inspired me to um, do a Nuzlocke myself. And with that, it's time to start. <laughs> We are going to play Pokemon Sapphire Rouge. It's unmodded, it's unplayed, and let's begin. And of course, yeah, we are skipping the blubber of the professor because it's almost the same. It doesn't matter which Pokemon game you are actually playing. It's always the same of, yeah, welcome to the world of Pokemon, and this is our Pokemon. Some people keep uh, making friends with them, others are keeping them for battle, and blah That really doesn't fit inside, we call ourselves Saddle. Yes, that's my name. And we're moving to the little group. Are you ready? Uh, kind of. I hope not too many Pokemon die in that journey. Would be actually kind of sad. <laughs> Especially since people that know me in real life know that I'm somehow easy to make try, so... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we are here, honey. It must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home! I just literally arrived. I haven't seen much except for the truck or the house we are standing in front. So, how am I supposed to answer that question? It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy p uh, place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room saddle. Let's go inside! Yes, thanks. Tea saddle? Isn't it nice in here too? The movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us and cleaning up after. This is so convenient! Sadik, your room is upstairs. Go check it out here. 
that brought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. Well, your room is upstairs and it's literally, except for this room, the only room in the house. Time sounds good and reasonable for starting a Pokemon journey. Oh, true, I know. 2 a.m. sounds good. Tedo, how do you like your new room? As I said, it's the only room in the house. You had everything put away in uni. They finished moving everything downstairs too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. You said that already. You should make sure that everything is all there on your desk. Yeah. Just let me grab the potion because I will need it. Uh, also I, uh... Oh, say the say the pig, pig, come, come! Look, it's Patty Park Jim! Yeah. So the only reason why she called me is because we missed it all. At least we saw the gym, and at some point we will be the gym, hopefully. And yeah. We are not going to use Kyogre after we called it, because yeah, it's maybe bit too strong in uh, breaking the challenge, so no legendaries. Yes, I'm sad. Can I please go out and see your dumb stuff? I do At the moment I cannot see her football because at the moment she doesn't have it laying around. Oh, who are you? Well, I'm sad and I'm going to become a Pokemon trainer soon. Oh, that's nice. Can we be friends? Mm, no. Now that that is done, um, time to get our first Pokemon because we will need it. Grass studying Pokemon when I was jumped by a level 2 Puchiana. Which is by the way a cute Pokemon, I hope it's my encounter. I received the Trico! Yay! Because I saved him. And since it's a last lock, we call it. Work at Pokemon and gain experience. Blah blah blah. Hey, yay, you have me. Go to my daughter. Now, time to get to his daughter. Yeah, I 
wouldn't have minded to make a not knock a Pokemon sword and shield. There is only one problem. Pokemon sword and shield are like really complicated if it comes to the rules. Because yeah, oh, you need to get the first Pokemon you encounter or see or do stuff and it's like... Huh? So I decided to go old school with Pokemon and Sapphire. Hope you guys don't mind it. And she's on some touching, which is not bad. It doesn't know any stupid um, defense lowering or fire type moves. Which means I should be able to simply counter the defense. Yeah, do so much damage. What's so sad? I don't know. As I said, I don't want to lose the run already. Yeah, okay, that one could have been enough, but... Let's see how slow then, as I said, I don't want to lose. And now I can do some sword. And yes, I already can't the part before the poke, uh, poke parts are in my... Session. Um, I still count it um, as part of the Nuzlocke, so if I would have died there, it would have meant that. May, give me a second, I need to heal my Trico, even if it only lo lost 3 HP after I healed it up, which was probably a waste. Doesn't matter. It's not a waste as long as I see it. Hello, hello, let's hurry home. Okay. I want my Pokeballs. I want to start the journey. Hello, as I see you can beat the crap out of my daughter. And for helping me on that research to see how weak she is, I give you the Pokedex and some Pokeballs. Oh, thank you, Professor Birch. I will honor that. Because I basically will not do what you say with fulfilling, uh, fulfilling the Pokedex, because yeah, it's a no slug, so... Completing the Pokédex is kinda impossible. Oh. I have Pokéball to... Uh... Oh. Okay. Okay. Yes. Five in total, so let's make them count. Hope we don't die and... Yes, I introduced myself. Yes. Yes. Yes, give me the running shoes so I don't have to walk all the way and then run the entire day. What is kind of stupid because if you would run the entire day, you would probably faint at some point from exhaustion. But not as a Pokemon trainer because they can run infinitely. Time for the encounter. I can technically buy new Pokeballs, but I cannot buy a new encounter, so... Yes! We got it! Uh, 
the fact we have another team member and we call it... Um, what should we call it? Save damage into you, Falcon. And free damage is always nice because it can increase me free XP. And that my puppy don't. No! Don't miss it! Puppy! You can do it! I think I'll uh, put die before, it, uh, before I even left that route. And yeah, I actually never tried to make an Oxlock and yeah, that's my first one and actually I have no clue um, how disastrous it will be, how many parts it will have. So, uh, against Pucci, so let's make the safe strategy. <laughs> That's a really safe strategy, it works out really well. Razor already shows why it's called Razor. Not a Canarian one. I'm not sure if I want. No. But here I don't risk it, sorry, but you have to wait till you don't make this now. But yeah, I don't want to make my puppy. Yes, I know, this is probably the most boring part of the run because I have to get to the next route, so I still don't know what my next encounter will be, but I have a puppy in the spirit of my doing a big mistake because probably I'm killing the next encounter with one shot when 
and it's time for me to uh, to encounter and catch it. But well, let's go to it. Nice. I hope my next encounter is another puppy again, I'll have two puppies. Oh, that would be too good for us, so... Yeah, so I'm going to complain about it. But I know the next encounter could be a Wingo, and it would be an awesome Pokemon, because Wingo was actually an awesome um, Except for against electric types, because Bucket's the weakness, but... Matter Wingull is actually really strong and how could he actually uh, reach level 4 which is nice. Yeah, I'm only going to train Puppy to level 5 so, so I can continue without having to worry that I want to put As I would train all my Pokemon already to level 10 to be safe. Because, yeah, normally I would be like, oh, there's a Bonkel, I catch it, oh, there's a Six Sigrun, I catch it. Like, probably everybody would, um, I don't know, dude. It's not even level 5, so let's continue the training. Yeah, I'm at the higher level, so I hope you don't die against the Six Sigrun because I hate Six Sigrun. At least after I watched the video and I was like, yeah. Actually, okay. I want to finish that fight because, yeah. I don't like how this could end, so. It's actually kind of tense when you know when your Pokemon dies, you're not allowed to keep it. Which reminds me, I should probably go here. won't actually end up in there, but I guess probably one or two uh, dead Pokemon are unavoidable, even if I hope my Pokemon will all survive. My videos are not really popular. Well, that may change in the future, but no, I don't know. So. I just keep doing that one for fun, like basically all of my videos, so I'm trying to not worry about it. If I want to make a living of the video, probably a lot of people want it. and make another encounter just be safe. It's a nice look. It's a nice look. Don't play to the casual rules. Don't play the casual rules. It's a nice look. And 
Hey, Risky. Even if Risky plays, at some point unavoidable. It's a nice luck. And I know already how I pay after that episode, but it will be after watching uh, hopefully the next part of Because it's technically a new world I'm doing now, and... It turns out! <laughs> But so far, we are doing good. My puppy is already level 5, it's a good boy, and it didn't die so far. Even if I caught it at level 2. That's already a great achievement, at least if you ask me. But nobody asked. Oh, that's bios of some... It's at least not a Pucciano. But it's also not a Wingo. And it's again level 2. But... I'm to use a Pokeball! Why don't you want to stay in? Zigzaguna. Because we need Zig. At least as an HM slave. And how to be. Goddammit, I forgot this one. Ah, true. The ability of Pujiana could be actually really handy at some point of the game. Your turn to level up. And I see you guys in a bit. Well, I noticed um, before anybody is like, yeah, you cheated the run. We don't know if your Pokemon died. I should probably um, keep recording. Since it's not a casual playthrough, I remember that. That's a put up. Cut it out of training, but uh, meh. sorry to literally torture you with hanging up my put up Pokemon. That's a nice grid, see? 
But yeah, before anybody is like, yeah, but you cheated, and your Pokemon could have died, and blah blah, blah. I hope it doesn't take so good, and I'll be done the recording, because yeah. Actually, yeah, I wouldn't trust any last number of the levels up of the game. As well, so I could understand if people would, uh, would react like that, so... The episode may get a bit longer now, since I wanted to have it only half an hour since I noticed my uh, uh, videos I usually upload are maybe a bit too long. Take an eternity to render to the HD and other stuff, so... The training is well and true. Oh my god! It hits like a tank! And it was a weird death experience! Oh, thanks for not dying there! I got that again. What the hell is Remember, boy, Ziggy is actually not that bad to have. It's three items I can get. But yeah, the episodes end when my Pokemon hit level 5, and then we continue the path for Pokemon in the next episode. And I'm not sure that was close. It would have been nearly the first death in the first episode of the Dust Uh, I noticed already, and that's not this kind of tense. Especially when you see the HP of your Pokemon dropping down by the level. And yes, yeah, so if you sometimes when I caught a Pokemon notice that my um, recording uh, the sound skipped a bit forward, it's because, yeah, I was looking for the sprite and everything. Uh, so yeah. Ooh, no, Ziggy. No. Unavoidable happened. Ziggy, I was happy to have you in my team, but... But now it's time for you to stay in here. There goes our first Pokemon. Literally in the first episode. I hope the run doesn't end as fast as the life of my Sixagoon. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!